What do we want? Bricks and minifigs. When do we want it? Bricks and minifigs. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm here with Ross and we were working today and then we were really bored and it kind of sucked so we decided to go to Bricks and minifigs because why not? We always have a lot of fun there and if there's actually something I really want. I saw some Lego elves sets on the shelf last time. Elf on the shelf? Um, I feel like <laughs> nope. there's something there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I am so excited. Those sets are actually really cool and I did one on a live stream on Wednesday and now I'm back because I just want some more of them. So yeah, let's go see what they got. I'm really excited. So here's what I'm here for. We have a bunch of these elves sets here. And oh my gosh, I love that they're actually like in the box. A lot of them are new in box. They have some over on the like display over that way. And they don't have the boxes, which is kind of unfortunate. So I'm definitely drawn to these more. This one is used, but it has the box. It's like certified, so they have everything in it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I like this one the best because the dragon looks really fun and the wings are just super cool. So we'll see. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that just in case. This is so cool. This Lightning McQueen Duplo thing was at $12. That seems like a really good deal and that would be kind of cool to put into my city. I don't know. We'll see. And they have Mater. Oh my god, look how cute he is. Oh, the little like buck teeth on the front. He is adorable. Some more Duplo stuff. Oh wow. Look at that little cowboy stuff going on there. Kind of cool. And then as for the friend stuff, I still have my eye on this cinema that looks so fun. The colors that look so cute in Disney World. But we already have one in Disney. We don't need two cinemas. That doesn't really make any sense. And I actually just got this wave-in of Batman stuff in DC. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, there's like this shuttle. Oh my gosh, that's so neat. I haven't actually seen this set before. I like that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I never realized how big this set is. This is the Empire State Building architecture set from 2019, it looks like, for a hundred bucks. This thing is pretty big. Oh my gosh, like, this is the box for it compared to the actual set built. I never realized how big that thing was. That's pretty cool. But yeah, they do have a bunch of this architecture stuff here. I've never really been into the line, but it looks really neat, like Buckingham Palace, some new in box, or I guess it's an, what is that, open box, new set kind of thing going on. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, the more I see the set, the more I want it. It just looks so cute. You get Belle and the Beast as mini dolls, which, you know, I am actually very much a fan now. I used to be kind of like merit on the mini dolls, but these are really cute. And all these accessories in the back look really cool. And as y'all know, with four plus sets, there's no stickers. So that's really cool. I don't know, 50 bucks. I know it's gonna retire soon. And I feel like I'm gonna just like be super disappointed if it retires before I get it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I found some more elf sets up here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is the Fire Dragon Lava Cave. We actually just watched this episode. Yes, we really did watch the TV show. But look at this, this is so cool. The dragons look awesome. And then over here we have the Dragon Sanctuary for 130. And this dragon looks so fun. Like, they're just so cool. Look at the wing pieces. There's just a lot going on on this thing. So, man, I'm really tempted, but it doesn't have the box. So I'm not sure, ooh. And then Minions up here for 35 bucks. Ugh, it's such a good deal for a set. I really want it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. I just found this one as well. Lego Elves Rosalind's Healing Hideout. This is so cute. It does have that little like scratch on the box, but it's new in box and the dragon looks so cool. These dragons are awesome. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I am I'm very excited about this set. Look at this. There's so many details in here and like the pink and purple pieces are just really, really cute. Not too much over here that I'm super pumped about. They still have that monorail that does look really cool. So we'll see, we'll see. They have some Christmas stuff. There's like a shuttle over here, the central perk. I actually just bought a second one of that because I want to do some cool rebrickable thing with it eventually. But yeah, over here there's some like Bionicle stuff it looks like. I don't know too much about Bionicle, but then just a bunch of fun little cars. Sometimes I find little mini mystery machines down here and I usually snag them. <laughs> So here's another dragon. Look how cool this is. Like the head mold is so neat. Gosh, I'm so tempted by it. But they also have some other sets over here. This one is a Viking ship. Looks really cool with the serpent. The burrow's still here. Yeah, they just have a lot of really fun used sets. Oh, Flintstones. I have that one. <laughs> so here we have the drop ship and the ATOT back there. Yikes. <laughs> but these are so cool. Ross already has these. It would look really good next to ones he already has, but yeah, we're gonna pass. They look so cool though, and it comes with a bunch of the clones in the back too. I guess that's like one of the most expensive parts of it. They're like 15 bucks a piece, which I did not realize. Oh my god, look at him. 
I want Spongebob to come back. I would love some Spongebob sets, that would be awesome. Okay, so we just got back from Bricks and Minifigs and I got so many cool things today. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I like elves now. It's one of the like really colorful themes from Lego that's been retired for I think a year or two. But they had some really cool sets and I'm just discovering that now, so I bought a bunch of them today. Let me show you what I got, okay. So first let me show you this really cool looking airship from Elves and I just think it looks really awesome. There's this like giant pieces on top. I think those are what are used in the troll sets too for like the, the hot air balloon type thing. But just look at this thing. This thing is so cool, there's so many details. Plus, if you pull this part out, the wings come up. Isn't that just like such a cool feature? I love that. It's so cool, so cool. So yeah, I like this a lot. Very neat ship, moving on. So this is another used set that we bought and it did not come with the box or anything. Some of the others we bought did, this one did not. So this is a Dragon Sanctuary from Elves. And just look at the details, like there's so much going on here. There's a lot of really fun colors, just like flowers and stuff. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so cool. Plus something awesome about this is that it comes with a little dragon egg, as you can see here, little dragon egg with a dragon in it. There's a dragon in here. Let me move this real quick. There we go. There's a little dragon and let me show y'all. It is so cute. Look how adorable that thing is. That thing is adorable. And yeah, apparently these little dragon eggs do bring up the price of these sets quite a bit. I guess that's like a collector's thing, but now I just really want to collect all the little baby dragons. So yeah, that's going to be a fortune. And so this dragon sanctuary set also comes with a dragon, of course, like how would it not come with a dragon? So here's the dragon. This thing is so cool. Look at this thing. His head is just beautiful. His head, her head. I don't really know. I assume it's a girl because she's just beautiful. But look at these wings too. So this blue wing is actually very opposable. As you can see underneath here, it has that little piece where you can actually move it back and forth a bit to make it look a little bit cooler. I like kind of layering it like that. And then also the wings move up. So yeah, there's a lot going on with this set. There's, I don't know. It's just really pretty. I like the dragons a lot. So I want to collect all the dragons eventually. I'm, I'm making my way through them. I think I have two or three dragons now, not built, but you know, they're in my possession, ready to be built or, you know, this one's already built. So yeah, pretty cool. Speaking of dragons, here's another set with a dragon in it. Look how cool this is, y'all. This is Era in the Song of the Wind Dragon. Ooh, that's cool. But yeah, look at this dragon in here. It has like lightning wings. I don't really know what's going on there. I haven't seen all of elves yet. I'm working on it. I'm watching what's on Netflix right now, but man. It just looks so cool. Like these sets have so much detail. The dragon is like shooting electricity out of its wings. Like that's objectively awesome. And I got another dragon as well because dragons are just really cool. So here's Rosalind's healing hideout. And look at that dragon, y'all. Look at that. That is so cool. The colors in that thing are awesome. Plus, I actually, um, we just watched the episode of the show on Netflix where this takes place. So that's pretty cool. It has to do with like the Goblin King and it's pretty cool. Check out the show on Netflix. I actually really like it. So yeah, I'd say this is a very successful haul from Bricks and Minifigs. We always find some really cool stuff there and it's hard going and not getting something because they just have so much cool stuff all the time and it's always rotating. Like for example, the set, this one here, like the Dragon Sanctuary, Dragon Sanctuary. This one, it's not available on Bricklink anywhere in America. So it was like, do we wanna pay for overseas shipping? Should we just get it while it's there? You know, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's always just like a bunch of really tough choices, but I'm really happy with it because this dragon's so cool. And the other sets we got also are just really fun. Ross is filled with his Star Wars sets. So yeah, I would say this is definitely a success. Plus I'll probably be doing some live streams of these sets because I do want to break them down and rebuild them because like that's the fun of it. I really want to build these sets. It looks so fun. So I'm going to do that on my second channel. She builds at some point. I'm not sure when. I haven't scheduled anything yet. So yeah, stay tuned for some build streams on my second channel, She Builds, and I'll link that down in the description below. Go subscribe to that, it's gonna be awesome. Anyways, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I said we're hungry, so Ross is actually starting on dinner. I am hungry too, I'm gonna go help him out. Thanks y'all for watching, I'll see y'all next time.